that your plugins are out of date. In this case, it shows that there's two on this particular blog that are out of date. So we'll pull it up and see what they are. And obviously, same as 2.5, you can update them right from your dashboard. But they also did something else with it in that they separated out the ones that are active and inactive. So this way, as you deactivate them, they move to a different section, makes it easy that you can easily just deactivate all of the active plugins at once and keep them straight. One of the other things they've done is in the themes. If you want to change themes, or if you are creating your own theme and you want to make sure, as they say, that your mistakes, I mean, edits aren't quite showing, you can do it this way. So here I can, when I click to change the theme, it's going to show me what my blog is going to look like before it actually happens. Okay, this is the old theme that I used to use, and this will show me what it would look like ahead of time. In this case, I can just close it because I really don't want to change themes, but you can get the opportunity to see. The last thing that I really like and that I've started to use is the press it. If you go to your right page and scroll down, there's this little shortcut called press this. What you can do is you can add this to your favorites. In this case, I'm just check bookmark this link and I'm just going to add it right into my bookmark toolbar and see now it's put it up here as press this. So if I go somewhere, in this case I'll go to my other blog where I actually use this to quote John Taylor's blog because he wrote a very nice post today. You do want to make sure you're on an individual post because it's going to pull that. So I'm going to click on press this. Okay, it automatically brings up the, it creates the title to the post as being what the title is on the current post. And then it gives me a link to it automatically. Now, one of the things I'm going to use this for is if I find a good post, what I can do is just turn around, give it a title. Like I'm going to just say, I want to do a post about business building tips. I found this good quote from somebody. I'm going to, I could set up my category and just save it. I don't like to publish from here because I do like to change my titles and stuff. But what happens now when I go back to my dashboard and I can close this window, I can go to the dashboard and I'll have a draft here and it will already have the information in it that I was going to do it. So as I'm surfing and I come up with ideas, I can pull these items, press them, and then I'll have the start of my post and I'll have a link to the item that I wanted to quote from right there already on my thing. So if I just go here and go to the business building tips that I just thought about using that, I'll have a post that I can flesh out and publish. Those are a few of the things that I really like about WordPress 2.6. Obviously, there's a lot of other little changes on there, there were quite a few changes. I think it had 194 bug fixes. If you go to the codex, they'll give you a full list of all the things. But these are a few of the new features that you really ought to take a chance. Take the time to look at them and figure out how to use them for yourself.